Oh, thank you, Jamie. We go up this morning. Roll out the earth before me start yawning. Energy Empire. Welcome to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey, my energy empire welcome back to my channel hey 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 so i'm up in the building don't watch the microphone because the microphone on right now you understand i need to connect it and all these things but here what i'm telling you not it has been the most madness i'm gonna lie to you i won't lie to you let me let's tell you like, the truth yeah so hey welcome like so people, I've come talk about it, I've come talk about it, you know what I'm going I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Thank you to meditation. Thank you to meditation because meditation has been something that's helped me to channel my journey. So I hope that it will help other people channel their journey. So what I want to say before I even move on into this conversation I want to shout out to Alicia Keys and I want to shout out to MD Deepak. These are two people that I've been using right now to assist me with my meditation. I remember when I was sitting there and I kept on saying, I just want to find people who's like me, people who's like me. Bingo! That was, I found some people like me. <sighs> yes, people. Ramba. Okay. Yes, you already know. This is how we do. We just turn up the wave and then we come with the show. <laughs> okay, let me stop fucking up. <laughs> okay, people. So let's talk the things. Then let's talk the things. Then so here we go. And you already know, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome, my energy empire. So my energy empire, you already know, I bless you guys with my kisses because I generally appreciate the squad. Now here we go. I thought I'd just come drop myself in a camera real quick so that people can see me visually and Roddy Roo and all this and that. So on and all I said, I had my day or so. Anytime I don't want to see me, it's a quick street underscore miss underscore kicks. Boom, right there. For the people them who's watching that hasn't already subscribed, Street Kicks TV on all platforms. That's all you need to do. Street Kicks TV on all platforms. Thank you very much. So people, let's just get straight into it. Like, you know, yeah, how do I explain it? It's like, you see, like, there was one time when like i was thinking about some things right then i hit a friend and i was like to him like yo my guy like you know yeah every time i be sleeping like you always be popping up in my dreams like some spiritual guru like i had to say to him like my guy like is there a message that you have to give to me because you see you know like sometimes yeah like it's one of those things where you know like when you're supposed to be paying attention to certain things but you don't pay attention and then it's like hold on a minute why are you not paying attention to the message and then God's just like, boom. My mum put something in front of her face but my mum say, I got check the meds. Boom. I say, I know. He had to use a man to get my attention. Boof. Anyway, so every time I just I see this boy face, every time I just I see the boy face, you know, every time people, did you hear what I said? Every time I see the guy's face. So I hit him and I was like, such and such, one, two, two, with the ropes. Then he was like to me, self-awareness remember i mentioned this to you in my in my last video you know he said to me self-awareness so i went and i done some research on self-awareness because i already know the meaning of self-awareness but you know like when somebody gives something to you it's like you're missing a piece of that puzzle so i decided okay do you know what wait guys mm -hmm. yeah so i decided yeah that what i would do is i'll go and like check certain things just to give myself like a little rundown on certain things that i might have missed along the pathway in my meditation and my self-awareness journey right boom emotional triggers was something that stood out to me emotional triggers now 
strengths and weaknesses so for me i found that my emotional triggers in my strengths and my weaknesses is social circles yes on the hear me social circles now i always feel like that sometimes like i don't feel appreciated by family and friends the way like okay you know like most of the times i'm not the only person who can say this there's many people who will say to you like well i do this and i do that for people and i don't feel like they reciprocate the same energy match energies we ain't got no time in this day and age to be excuse the background noise if you could hear the birds and this and that because it's really early in the morning like my spirit was just like boom 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 and i just jumped up and i was like it's time so i'll get back to what i was just talking about previously before but well, let me continue here so obviously like I had to sit there and say to myself like social circles yeah is something that is like a thing for me where i've realized to myself like no matter what i do in my life yeah i don't care how people perceive it once i feel whole within myself do you hear me i don't care how people perceive me once i'm whole in myself look i'm good yeah now the reason why i have to say that is because i found that sometimes yeah i will get into this place where i feel annoyed like oh they people ain't treating me right and i know me kicks i'm lovely i'm loyal my other temper i not tell no lie yeah and if you get me on my wrong side i'm an edward chip but otherwise than that i'm a lovely person i'm, I'm fabulous so in saying that, I had to say to myself, like, okay, social circles. If social circles in relationships and friendships are... Now, let me just make sure I state this correctly. When I had a personal talk with myself, I realised social circles was one of my weaknesses which it stems down in relationships now when i say relationships i mean personal relationships and friendships now in my personal relationships and friendships it's the same two things i don't feel the balance of appreciation and energy yeah. empire i'm so sorry do you know what yeah you know like i just realized like halfway through this film and like oh my gosh i didn't put on the rest of my lights but you know what yeah we'll do that another time because we're just coming here quickly to give you a quick and fast <laughs> energy empire love you guys so much oh i love you i love you guys so much you see the people who's actually supporting me yeah i love you guys so much like thank you thank you thank you like this journey for me yeah, has been like let me tell you has been the maddest thing mama tell them not mama tell mama talk. come here yeah, listen people you see this journey it ain't been easy like i don't lie to you like i lost a lot of people along the way and you know what me not missing my blood clot them could have stayed upon the next side them could have stayed upon give to people it's not the love that they would give to me yeah now i'm a straightforward person you see anyone who knows me will say like well see deeps she don't want certain serious jokes shouts out to tiny rest in peace you understand because people call me Debo because of him and you know what i rocks with it because it's a confident name and i walk with it with pride Peace. so in saying that yeah like it's one of those things where i just had to sit there to say to myself like this meditation is helping me to stay focused and to balance my rants like it was just yesterday i had a rant on my social media because i feel like if you don't like someone just don't watch them if you don't like someone don't go and check what they're doing I ain't got the time for the trolls, but you know what? I appreciate people like Big Nasty, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Because you know Cardi B, she keeps it 100 straight and she will just come for you guys in instant as you say something. Just like Nicki Minaj is a person, Nicki Minaj will be like, Psh, when the time comes. See, Big Nasty, Big Nasty is someone who has been important to my journey because you see, his characteristics from what I'm, I am aware of, has showed me that no matter what people say, you have to love you and believe in you. I remember the last thing Big Nasty said to me, he said, Debs, don't stop what you're doing. You're going to get there. It takes time 
and hard work and you know what i've never ever disbelieved in myself if i'm ever gonna make it i always know i always know i'm gonna make it see me yeah my thing's different anything i put my mind to i get it done so it's one of those things where i don't ever question if is when now i love what i'm not and i'm trying to live what i will become you see more time i sit there and i say to myself my dream started officially when i resigned from my job like god knows how i'm gonna find a balance to get certain things that i want to be done done but god knows you're not someone who i have to sit there and worry about sorry my camera's shaking like god knows that i'm not sorry that so sorry god knows that i'm not someone that he has to worry about when it comes to manifesting what it is that i want because anything i've wanted in my life it's always happened praise be to god so i continue to do what it is that i'm doing i'm glad that i'm older now because you see me being older has helped me to keep a calm in the way that i am you see before how i used to be murder you know what i want to come see my life you wouldn't want to be here because you'd be like she's just a beast bruv like why she don't just calm down <laughs> i'm at the calmest stage in my life right now and i feel like a lot of people test me family and friends especially close friends to me and family referring back to the guy one time i put a page on him and he was like oh you don't know what i've been through i don't know what you've been through and you know what i just want to say when I was laying down, I had to sit there and say, it's amazing that I don't know your story, but your story is so important because I'm feeling some of the strains that you feel and I'm just starting. Like, I don't understand why people troll. I don't understand why people pretend to be um, a part of things that you want to do for yourself if they're not really about it but the minute that they see the vision or they see the stepping stone they want to jump in sneak bow i want to shout out to you and i want to say big up yourself here yeah, because you was one of the first people to follow me on street kicks tv platform itself yeah now behind the scenes i talk to a lot of stars but you can have connections and you can do the most but it just takes one person to set the tone and then certain things happen. Shouts out to La Familia for co-signing. Do you understand? Big up your damn self. Steph London, big up yourself because I see you. Alakai, big up yourself. Big Nasty again, big up yourself. Yeah? Skilly Ben, thank you for your eyes. Jada King, thank you for your eyes. The list goes on. If I didn't call your name, I apologize. You understand? Like, Bella, you already know. Love your natural. Now, let's just put it this way. The reason why I'm here today is because I want to put this message out there. Nothing that you guys do ain't going to stop me from doing what it is that I want to do. You can't stop me from believing in me. And you know what? I want to put this out there. You see, I accept who I am. I accept my spirituality. I accept my aggression. I accept my hardcoreness. I accept that I'm from the streets. In my bars, I say the streets is the hearts of home. This ain't no joke. The streets is what helped me to be as strong as I am. Shouts out to my brother, Pandy. Because you see him, that's one of my realists. And anybody who knows me knows that I have a heart for him. So if you come for him, you're coming for me. Now, let's move along, yeah? Like, I had to have this realist conversation with my brother. My brother was like, sis, cut these people off. You got too many fake people around you, like family and friends fuck loyalty loyalty doesn't mean nothing like sometimes you think to yourself that oh a person might have been loyal to you on a one occasion so you want to hold on to them for a lifetime that one occasion that they was loyal doesn't serve your purpose to be loyal to them for eternity some people have to get dropped along the way now i've been very observant and i've been very watchful of things that's happening i'm a very prideful person a lot of people keep telling me, Keeks, I'm going to help you to this. Family especially. Oh, now, Makia, see the help. Oh, now. Like, they feel like, say, that I'm going to come and beg them. Remember telling all this? You see, my mother, my mother is a proper woman. 
if I don't have something, I gotta look it myself, and I'm not coming to look it to come beg or sponge upon people. So let me tell you like this: you will, it will never happen. It will never happen. Get that right. So therefore, don't grudge me because I'm someone who I get things done. I see a lot of hate in people since I started Street Keeks TV, and I've been talking to certain family members and friends about it, and I had to sit there and say is that what the world has come to like now i understand why the people at the top they're so tight to people like me for the simple fact that when they on the rise up where are you guys ray black big up yourself for the dark skin tune because you see that tune there helping hand i don't need it where were you guys when i was grafting people just want to be hitch up next beside me because i'm street keeks but in real life it burns them now because they see that rah vision's really coming to life now my vision was always always coming to life sometimes it might have been slow because i'm independent it's not everything that i can do myself and on top of that my skin color don't make it no easier for me so let's just get that correct other people they get help out there other people ain't me in everything that i've done in my journey i don't recall no one helping me in my music career you see the team that i created they are my pride and joy because they believe in me. Big up yourself, Triggs. Big up yourself, RSM. Quasi Courts, big up yourself because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even have the team that I have now. I appreciate the people who believe in Miss Keeks. I believe in the people who want to support my foundation. And this is why I try to be as transparent as I can with you guys so you guys can be walking with me on the journey as I go. I won't lie. It's not easy. Sometimes I want to scream like, ah, literally, literally. Sometimes when I have a rant, I'm just like, this, that, this, that, that. And I'm just going in on a hundred, on a 10. And then I sit there and I say to myself, Deebs, bring lightning, bring lightning, bring lightning. Let lightning come back. And then when lightning comes, it's like, spirituality comes back. Meditation just drops back in. It's like I have to recheck myself and say to myself like, this is not lightning's characteristics. Control deeps. It's hard to control deeps sometimes because I'm a confident person. I have a lot of opinions. Shouts out to um, Tropic Island Beauty for the nails. Yeah, I don't know. Make sure I'm having a dotty money now because we don't do freebies around here. Okay, period. Now, moving on. Yeah, so I want to go back to what I was saying, like, I appreciate everyone who supports me and I thank everybody for believing in me the people who believe in me because it's not easy sometimes I sit down and I say to myself I don't want to do this no more because I just feel tired and I feel worn out at the fact that the people who's close to me they don't support my journey they talk 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 and it's not everybody who's going to be on the road to success with you. And you know what? I won't lie to you. I don't really want no one to be on the road to success for me. It's just a couple of days ago that I told everybody. It's a wrap. Scatter. Sorry. It's just the other day that I told everybody. It's a wrap. Scatter. Now, I removed my presence from everybody. Because you know what? My, my, my presence is special. And... The energy that I will put out to people is not the energy that I receive. And you know what? I sit there and I say to myself, like, I don't love nothing that doesn't love me. I don't care for nothing that doesn't care for me. And I, I, I find it hard to communicate to people who's close to me that they've hurt me when I expect them to do better. You see people on the outside world, when they, they violate me, like they might do something that might upset me, I'll just come for them same time, shut it down, and I just keep it stepping. I ain't on a long team, yeah? That's me. But, see, because I've grown up now and I'm trying to change, you don't have to push me to that limit. And people, they really try to push me to that limit where I have to come and say what I have to say. So, I just want to put it out there. Energy Empire, see the ones who actually love me and appreciate me? Thank you very much. Just subscribe to Street Kicks TV. Sometimes when you watch my content, if you don't like it, dislike it. 
drop why you don't like it i'm open to constructive criticism because one thing about me me not like my criticism when me talk you know when i feel like i have something to say i let it be known so i rather people to do the same thing for me do you understand i don't want people to be just coming on my channel for the sake of coming when you're not really 100 percent an energy empire go somewhere else go and go and support the people that you like that's what you need to do don't come on my page or my socials to troll me sometimes i look at my social media and i'm like the amount of eyes that i have where's the eyes on street kicks tv on my youtube channel it's not there but the eyes them don't miss my social platforms you know and what's up about me what is it i know i'm amazing i know a lot of people want to be bad and gangster like me but you can't do you understand? And when I say gangster like me, I mean like the realest way. Like, I'm a real G. I don't play certain games that it's just the other day that I had to put a guy in this place because I realised my balls shut your ego down. I came so fire that you didn't even know how to deal with me on your own track. That made me have to say, are you real or are you fake? It made me have to say, are you real or are you fake? Like, now I realise that my talent... I realise why a lot of guys sometimes too, they don't want to feature me or they don't want to put me on a track because my team's mad. Well, you know what? It's supposed to be. I like the fact that I put you on your toes. Come with some proper bars like I'm hip hop. You see the drill music? I like the drill music to a degree. Do you understand? Certain drill rappers I rock with. But you see when you're coming with this crap bars, I'm not on it. Do you understand? Like I, I like the real stuff. So you see in saying that my energy empire, I love you guys very much. And I'm not here to have a rent. I just came to clear the air and express my chest. Now, for people who know me, they're just going to be like, oh, that's just keeks. But then for the people who don't know me, that's just chiming in. Let me just tell you something. I'm as transparent as I try to be. <laughs> yeah. Nothing about me don't change. Except for the simple fact that I get cuter every day okay now in saying that other than my cuteness of course like i just believe that you see my time is around the corner and it's time for me to manifest more positive energy and cut and clear the bad vibrations so you see now that i've done that cheers mm-hmm I can feel proud about myself. And you know another thing I want to highlight too. I've been watching um these girls, um Spices or Dancers. Yeah, shout out to Spice, you know, come my mother loves spice, you know. Go down there. Now, you see their friendship circle, yeah. They have their ups and downs, but you see how I'm seeing them? I, I love it. Because it just makes me sit there. And I, and I remember the times when I used to have friendships that meant something to me. Like, my friendships now is like, to be honest, I don't even have friendships. I, see my friendship here? See my friendship here? I don't have friendships. I know, I hold that like a willy. Like, you see my friendships here? Yeah? <laughs> Do you know what? My energy empire, I think that's enough. <laughs> Fuck everything, yeah. I don't want no friends no, no. Treat niggas like kids when